Aquarius. As soon as I started to record this, I heard the Outcast song, um, Aquimini, which is Aqua and Gemini together, which is him and Big Boy, or Big Bad Boy, no, what's his name? Anyways, Outcast. There, I mean, there might be a team here. Anyways. Your theme is um, what's hiding. So, uh, obviously, something is in the shadows. And uh, wants to be, like, like, identified. And, you know, one thing I just want to say, if you mock um, accents... Um, if you tend to, like, be around an English person and, like, start doing an English accent or something, apparently that is our way of communicating to them that we want them to understand us. So if you mock accents, it actually means that you have a lot of respect. Especially if you're really good at it, then that's even better. Like, I can do an Italian accent so well that I can actually make people think that I'm Italian. And, like, I don't know why. I'm not Italian, but anyways, if you mock accents, a priest, a priest told me that um, I'm highly regarded when I mock accents because it means that I want people to be able to understand what I'm saying. Anyways, let's go. What's hiding? Whoa. Oh. Okay. So these are these cards just flew up the sun. We got the page of pentacles and we got justice. Yeah, they're right there. Justice. So right there, that's a second air sign, right? Oh my gosh, and look, on the bottom of the deck is Gemini. Aqua, Gemini, and Libra. All three air signs are here. My I minus the fact that Aquarius hasn't actually shown up, but it's Aquarius' it's reading, so. What's hiding? Well, something big is hiding. Hmm. All right, it's kind of like taking my breath away right now. I don't really know what to say. Um, what's after the lovers? What's hiding? What's with this lovers? Oh. Okay, one more card. Okay, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Okay. I do kind of want to clarify this. Really? That one? Okay. That's kind of a weird clarifying deck, but I'm going to clarify this. I want one card for each card. Holy moly. Justice. Oh. Whoa. Lovers. Holy moly. Oh, I don't these cards are everywhere right now. Like I don't like have slipping fingers or something like that. Like what the fuck is going on? I like the the craziest day working today too, so like I don't know what is happening, but we got some serious energy on the table. Okay, so right away with the sun, I felt like something like majestic is happening like when i think of a horse and i think of a like a horse running like horses are so unbelievably magical um i stood in a field once and all of a sudden i looked up and there was 10 horses around me like they had all cultivated around me like horses do something and horses are very healing um 
And I feel like something, some healing energy is coming in. Okay. And then clarified with it was the mother of pentacles. So right away, it's like, it's like someone's like going to take you in their arms or something. You know, it, it's, 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 it's a very loving energy. Like the sun, that's why I was like, I'm kind of speechless with this because like all I'm getting is, is, is like a good vibration. It, it's very weird. Okay. Um, it's a very strange feeling. I shouldn't say weird. It's a very strange feeling. Um, and then with this page of pentacles, we got the tower. So this, this, some, this idea, okay. Or, or yeah, I feel like it's an idea. Like, uh, um, perhaps maybe a new way of making money. Um, a new, a new avenue is, is going to come in and it's going to break. It's going to break the top of a tree down. Okay, so it's like when lightning strikes, it's only hitting the top of the tree. So it's only damaging its growth. So it's almost like some type of growth process is like done. And and now you get to, to remove what you want to remove from your old life and go into some type of new creation, okay? Which is the tower. And the tower, when the tower hits, the tower hits. Like right away, smack dab, we are in it. Um, then we've got... The four of cups came down, okay, with uh, justice. And I feel like justice is coming in with something pretty big, okay? There could have been a really greedy rat in your in your vicinity. And, like, I'm hearing Pearl Jam's rats again. And I did um, a video about rats, like, the other day. Um, gutting the rat, I think it was called. It might have even been for Gemini. Like, this is, this is definitely... Um, a, a cross Gemini Aquarius reading, okay, w mixed with Libra for sure, okay. Um, and then with Gemini, we've got the Mother of Swords with Gemini, with the lovers. So it's it's like it's something coming in, okay. That's really big. Scales are even. The 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 rat is gone. Um, and then the, the, oh my gosh, and look at this, like, man, we have the Queen of Swords twice. I didn't even realize that. Queen of Swords twice. So something, something is going to be kind of like crystal clear, okay? We've got the Son of Cups and the Ten of, uh, Ten of Swords for the Queen of Cups. So it, it's like an offer comes in, okay? It's like you, you make a decision, and it's like a decision, it's kind of a decision that's, that, I don't know, maybe you didn't actually really want to make or choose to make or really need to make, but you did it anyways. And, and it was, it was, the move you made diminished something. And it's like, you might have a bad run of something for a long time. And somehow now the energy of what's hiding is justice. Justice is hiding, okay? Because you might secretly love something, okay? And I feel like this is something to do with money. You might secretly love something and you've never told anybody about it. And then it kind of swoops in and you know that you're ready for it. You know that it's your calling. Like, I mean, if you, I really love this card because she is sitting on a cliff and her back is to the edge, okay? Her back is to the edge. It's not really focusing, and I'm not sure why, but anyways, her back is to the edge of a mountain. She's in the clouds, okay? And she has no fear. She's like, bring it on, okay? And I feel like I can't help but see the blue. Like, I mean, and blue is your, is your throat chakra. It's your communication chakra, right? So her communication is flawless, and she doesn't lie, she doesn't cheat, she doesn't steal. She does what she needs to do. And and there could be some type of delivery here, okay? And it ends something, which is this Ten of Swords. Some type of really bad ending. And I can't help but see that that bull's eyes are taken out by that knife. So it's it's like, it, it really, something, something could have been really hard to get through and really hard to see. And, and you might have lost your sight on something and the universe is kind of saying you you only lost your sight on something because you just your words 
took that away from you. So this is a really intriguing reading. I have to say that this is this is really something is blossoming, and it's I think it's blossoming kind of under your feet. And I don't I mean it makes sense that you don't see this. Um, you you the 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 Lord works in mysterious ways. Okay, the universe works in mysterious ways. And I really feel like something very loving is coming in. And even though the tower, even though something breaks up, it's okay because it takes the rat away. It takes whatever is being greedy in this situation and it removes it. And then that allows something crystal clear to come in that you actually really love, that you really waited for and worked hard for is now going to kind of, I think, sneak up and bite you in the ass. And that's why the Son of Cups, it's the Knight of Cups. It's something that people are always say like, oh, you know, don't love something too much. Or, you know, if you love something too much, it'll just run away. And if you, if you, if you, you know, if you, if you hold it too hard, you're going to smother it to death kind of thing. And I feel like, I feel like that whole frame of mind is done, right? Like, yes, you can love something to death. And, and, okay, I got to end this reading. Um... Have a good one. <laughs> you can't.